have ten thousand dollars worth of cars. What up? What up? A stack six one two. 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 At stack underscore six one deuce baby took over niggas towns black tie tiny bums handsome hoods pretty thugs but we grimy done cars cribs money had to find me some seat right behind me done done he played by all the rules that's why the house is his the cars all the truths hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen I am Stack612 and this is the Roaches to Wrenches YouTube channel where it's all about progress, opportunity, goal setting, and inspiration as I document my journey as an automotive businessman. Several days later. Ladies and gentlemen, the vehicle I'm driving right now is my Cadillac CTS that my daddy bought for me. I wouldn't want my boy to end up with some gold digger like the last three whores I married, huh? <laughs> nah, I'm playing with y'all. This here is my 2005 Cadillac CTS that I bought for $1,000. How did I get a running and driving Cadillac CTS for $1,000, you may ask? The answer to that question is I did not get it running and driving. I bought this vehicle with a broken timing chain, excuse me, with a bad timing chain the timing chain skipped it's a common issue on these Cadillac CTS's of this generation this is a first generation Cadillac CTS the 2003 to 2007 what I did was I bought this vehicle and I tore the engine apart and did everything on it I did a new head gasket new timing chain obviously now I did the head gasket for no reason I was actually I actually didn't know enough about the engine and I just tore apart the whole thing and just try to make sure that none of the valves were bent, any of that. Anyway, if any of you guys were following me for quite some time, or at least since the beginning of this year, you know about this car. And this car was a long road, you guys. It was a long road to get this car done, but now it's running, it's driving, it drives very well, the engine runs well. The only problem is that the power steering pump has a little squealing noise. However, the heat works, everything on this car works. This vehicle is meticulously maintained. I made a video on that before. I showed you the inside of the engine. Everything just looks superb. And the best thing about this car is that it's rear wheel drive, which means it gets sideways. Now, if you guys were following me before, you know I wanted to take this car and make it into a little drift build. I want to act like a dick. I want to go drifting in a fucking Cadillac. However, the car is just not a very driftable car. So what mods did you make to it? It's got a Lamborghini exhaust system on it. Yeah. Before I end the engine. It snow drifts very well. However, it's just not a driftable car. It drives very well, and I want to keep this car. This vehicle has 111,300 miles. This here is proof that everything is that anything is possible with just a little bit of wrenching and perseverance. Everything like that. No, you don't need your daddy or your mama, anyone to buy you a car, a nice car. You can get one for less that's broken and just fix it, man. Anyway, I'm in this car for around $1,700. I've already ordered some parts. I, I ordered new brake rotors because these ones are warped. I also ordered CTS V style grill. I just call it that because it looks like a CTS V grill, but it's actually called the sport grill. And it is gonna look good on here. Oh yeah, you gotta believe in the rice, baby. See the turbos on the trailer? That was going on tomorrow. Behold! Behold! The Roaches to Wrenches fleet currently right here. 
This is my 2005 Cadillac CTS I just spoke to you all about. Right here is my 2007 Chevrolet Malibu that I bought from State Farm Insurance that I'm currently rebuilding. And right over there, man, is the most hated 2010 Ford Focus that I bought from State Farm Insurance. Yeah, let's break them down, man. I'm very sorry I was not able to show you any drift footage of the Cadillac just because I began filming and people were staring at me through their houses and it's a pain in the ass. One lady even came out, she was asking me what I was doing and you know, not in a very polite way. And um, yeah, moral of the story, you guys, any of you guys who do not live in the suburbs, if you live in the hood, stay in the hood when you get some money, all right? Do not move to the suburbs, you're gonna regret it. Let's get to it, boys. This is my 2007 Chevrolet Malibu. I have daily driven it for a while. Right now it is currently parked. I bought this car from State Farm Insurance for $350 after fees, taxes, and transportation to bring it from the Copart location to my house. I was in it for $829.75 at my doorstep. Since then, I've put around 500 or so dollars into it bringing the total cost to around i would say 14 around 1400 1300 dollars right now it's currently almost done being rebuilt i still have yet to get the airbag in it i actually put the airbag in it however i did not replace the clock spring this right here is a clock spring for a 2004 chevrolet malibu i got this thing from the junkyard i didn't know if it would fit and it does not fit. So I have to find the time to go back down there, hopefully when the weather is not as bad. And yeah, then I'll be done with this car. However, the reason I parked it is because it keeps on falling apart. Um, all the wheel wells, I keep hitting snow banks. The paint is chipping off. I didn't prep the paint, so I'm not really mad about that. I'm just gonna wait until the weather clears up. I'm just gonna spray right over it again. But as far as everything else, everything with this car is mint. I mean, besides the cigarette burns in the seat. The funny thing is, there are still cigarettes under the floor, in the floor of this car. I just haven't cleaned it up. Too lazy. They're all stuffed under the seat in really hard places to get. So it is what it is. However, it does not smell like cigarettes, so I'm fine with that. Let's move on to my 2010 Ford Focus. My 2010 Ford Focus. I bought this car from State Farm Insurance for $1,850 after fees, taxes, and the transportation to tow it to my house from the Copart location. I was in this car for $2,760 at my doorstep. Since then, this car has been an absolute disaster. I had frame issues. I've had multiple issues. Actually, this car hasn't had any mechanical issues. However, this vehicle was a pain in the ass to rebuild just because of the expensive repair costs, the expensive costs in parts, because this car is a 2010 and I got aftermarket headlights, blah, blah, blah. If you guys have been following me before, you know what has happened with this car. It's just not great. I keep hitting snow banks. I hit more snow banks. As a matter of fact, I ran this thing up on yesterday. As you can see, the front bumper cover is completely destroyed. It's completely detached, not lined up. Right now, I have $10,000 worth of cars, which I all need to sell. This car, I would like to keep this car. However, I'm probably going to sell it once I get the title. The 2007 Chevrolet Malibu is worth about 2700 once I fix it completely. This 2005 Cadillac CTS is worth about $4,500 private sale, obviously. All my cars have clean titles, by the way. My 2010 Ford Focus, that car is worth about $3,500 in the condition that it's in. It has obvious exterior damage. However, it is very mechanically sound. However, the, war the, the brake rotors are also warped to follow me while I build my business in the automotive industry. Please leave a like, subscribe to this channel, 
and share this video with everyone you know, any aspiring entrepreneurs, businessmen, I need to sell all this stuff. And I know people love watching sale videos, rebuilding things from nothing. You guys, this car was wrecked terribly. And I took it from worthless into something. Since then, since I've got it, uh, this is this is a little bit when I hit a cub. I put new tires on it all around. I've replaced all these things I've painted right here. I have fixed this area right here. If you guys know, this area was dented in. I fixed that with Bondo. And everything is just coming together nicely. So if you guys want to follow my journey, please like, share, subscribe. And thank you very much for watching this video. And I just hope and pray that you guys are all inspired. And you guys all work hard, continue to work hard in everything you do. It's April 15th, 2018. I hope this video inspires you to realize that anything is possible with just a little bit of hard work, intuition, and inspiration. You know, it's all about having the, the right mindset. It's all about having being grateful for everything you have. You know, I've just been busy cleaning up, helping you. I know I haven't showed y'all my face in a while. Um, I was just trying a new thing for a period of time. However, I do wish to begin a new chapter of the Roaches to Wrenches story right now. So I'm not saying all the videos from before are going away. All the videos are still going to be there, you guys. You can all watch them. However, it is going to be a new Stack 612, baby. Anyway, it's all going to be about positivity. And I hope you guys like this video. And please, if you are not already subscribed, please subscribe to the Roaches to Ranches YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. If you have any questions, please direct message me on Instagram. That's the best way to get a hold of me. But as far as that, yeah, you know, go to my Instagram, tag two of your friends, tag two people on there, you know, your friends, parents, who knows, man. And I will be shouting out one of y'all who do that in my next video. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, please stay strong, stay healthy, and stay inspired. And I will be gone now. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.